This is how you make fresh salsa in your molcajete. Mm. Cut up one red onion. You could use white onion, but I just prefer the flavor that the red gives our salsa. Into a pan with no oil, we're gonna put all our onions, four Roma tomatoes, one jalapeno, two if you really like a good kick, and three cloves of peeled garlic. If you don't garlic, you don't really have to put it in. Did you really think I was gonna say no garlic? Just go ahead and peel those cloves and put them right inside. Cook your vegetables over some fire until they're about 70% mm, to 80% blackened. This is where the real flavor is. Okay, now moving along to a molcajete. Number one, your molcajete should not be consistent. It comes from volcanic rock. There will be imperfections. Same goes for the tejolote. Mine just messed up right here. Has a lot of holes in it because of course it came from the volcanic rock. And make sure it was hecho in Mexico. The red onion and then the jalapeno goes in as well. Some garlic. Now we're gonna season it with some lime juice, pinch of salt, and some cumin as well. Throw in the Roma tomatoes, mix in one handful of fresh cilantro. You can serve it right inside the molcajete. Ooh, that is spicy, but that is really, really good. This takes me back to my childhood. 